hey guys and welcome back to my channel all right today i am taking you guys to the park with me i'm in the park right now just in the car park i'm gonna put some sunblock on because it is hot in london right now um yeah i'm gonna do a little workout it's morning so i am gonna do a bit of skipping i'm gonna do a short workout which is gonna target the whole body uh and this is something that you can do at home you can do it in the park if you want um in your garden and you can even do it in the gym whenever we return to the gym whenever that's gonna be <laughs> all right so it's gonna be a very versatile workout um it's something that you do you can do with weights or without weights it's totally up to you but I'm gonna be using two five kilo dumbbells but for now I am just gonna put some sunblock on because that is important I've already put it on my face um, and that is something that I have been practicing for time now because I do get sunburnt so guys even if you are dark skin even if you are light skin even if you are white pink purple whatever the case may be please wear some sunblock protect your skin from the rays of the sun all right so enough chatter i'm gonna lotion myself up and i'm gonna take you guys into the park into my workout see you in a bit so um i'm gonna start off with some skipping i've got my i've got my current favorite genre in my ears right now which is uh south african music south african house to be exact and this is giving me vibes so yeah i'm gonna put my music in a bit of skipping i'm gonna go for three sets of a hundred skips and then we get into a workout <laughs> So I've done my warm up, so my skipping is finished. And now I'm gonna jump into a full body workout. And the reason why I'm doing a full body workout is because um, we're on lockdown. No one's gonna be training six days a week, targeting specific muscle groups. Most of us don't have enough weight to even have a super effective session in terms of weight training. So um, why not just hit the whole body with much more reps so you can just burn fat effectively and make use of the three, maybe four sessions that you're gonna have. Uh, so yeah, so uh, research does find that you burn more fat overall when you do full body workouts because you tend to still end up hitting the same muscle group um, twice to three times a week. So yeah, you get some muscle growth and you get some fat loss. Win-win, right? So we're gonna get into the workout now and we're gonna start off with something that uh, is a bit challenging but um, since you've got most of your energy at the beginning of the session, why the hell not? Here we go. So that's, 20 reps. <laughs> so that's 20 reps of some squat presses and the reason why this exercise is killing me so much today is because I did some push-ups not yesterday I don't think yesterday day before I did 100 push-ups oh my god my shoulders are screaming <laughs> so that's why this is a bit challenging for me um, off the bat but um yeah this this exercise hits not only your shoulders but your back, your, your core, because you have to stabilize yourself, um, your glutes, your quads, a bit of everything, really. So yeah, you're gonna do that for 
uh, three rounds, three to four sets. It's up to you. Um, it depends on how advanced you are. So yeah, three to four sets of that, 20 reps. And then we're gonna go into the next exercise. Yeah, for that exercise you can go for 10 to 12 if you're going really ham you can go for 15 um, and the reason being is because you've got lots of of uh, can't even find my words right now <laughs> plyo moves so you've got that jump out into your plank and then you've got an explosive move jump squat up onto the bench all right so you can do this at home if you've got a stabilized platform so don't try it on your sofa because you can twist your ankle you can hurt yourself try your best not to do that all right so that's move number two do, 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 do. all right so we're moving into our third exercise and you're gonna notice a trend here <laughs> um we're gonna be hitting a lot of legs so today we're mostly gonna hit legs and shoulders because that if you notice that gives you that hourglass figure um, and the illusion of the illusion of a smaller waist is just exaggerated when you build your upper body so don't neglect your upper body ladies all right so shoulders building nice shoulders strong shoulders broad shoulders it's gonna give you that hourglass look all right so legs your legs are gonna be burning today shoulders are gonna be burning today so let's just jump into the next move yeah Definitely felt that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, side lunges into the shoulder press. Um, that's going to target more of the anterior, so the front part of your delts. And um, side booty, side booty. Because as you can tell from me, I'm quite straight. So I have, yes, the beautiful hip dips. We love them. So I've got hip dips and I'm quite straight. So I don't have much hips myself. Um, however, obviously when I wear different clothes, it looks different, but yeah, with those, with that side lunge, you'll definitely be building more of your glutes on the side. So that's going to give you that illusion of a more curvy figure. All right. So that's exercise number three. We're almost done. I'm going to do two more exercises and that'll be it for your workout for today. Don't forget that you're going to be doing them three to four sets so three or four rounds whatever it is that you say okay so let's get into the next exercise 
forgive me. I know I didn't mention it, and I know sometimes we need a little gentle reminder, but please drink water. Um, it's very, very hot out now in London. It's over, it's about almost 25 degrees, which is very hot for London. Um, and it's quite still, not much breeze going. So it is super, super hot. Everything just feels intensified. And your RPE, so your rate of perceived um, exertion, um, will be high. So the, the way that you feel, how tired you feel, is gonna be super, super high. Um, so please, stay hydrated. I've got some lemon in my water. And I did, it was halfway filled with ice, but it's really not anymore. Um, this is a my protein shake and I am wearing uh, a my protein outfit coinky dink, but yeah Next exercise, let's go is deadlifts into a front shoulder raise that exercise um, how you can get the most out of that exercise is by making sure that you're slowing down on the decline of the deadlift so you want to slow things down here slow it down here feel the contraction all here start to feel your, gl your glutes fire up when you get about here and then go with that contraction so you want to think about your glutes start squeezing them from here squeeze 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 Keep them contracted and then get into your shoulder raise. Keep that core nice and tight. <laughs> Keep that core nice and tight while you're coming up. And shoulder raise. You don't want to lax out. You don't want to let the body relax. You don't want to let the body get loose. You want to keep those muscles under tension. So from here, tension, 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 tension. Yup. Get those, those uh, dumbbells up. Hands up, little bags of rice up, paint buckets up, whatever it is that you have, water bottles up, everything up, and then you bring them back down, and then again, you go, all right? So that move is gonna feel a bit more challenging because your the time under tension is like never ending. You're gonna be feeling that tension throughout the whole of the move, okay? So that is exercise number four. We've got one more to go. Please have a sip of water. And yeah, next one. So the last move is gonna um, be some lunges with some lateral raises. So um, we're gonna be targeting the side of the shoulders, you know, so we can get the hourglass. Let's go. So 
with this move, you've got options. Um, you can do the lateral raises like this. But because my shoulders are really burning me, I can't even lie. I'm not going to do them like that. But I'll demonstrate them quickly just so you can have that option if you want. move for today um, as I said this session was to target the lower body and give you a little bit of shoulder action um, because we're here to accentuate the curves um, and give that illusion of a smaller waist and you do that by building your upper part of your upper body and building your lower body <laughs> all right um, guys if you have questions if you've got any comments or if you like the workout or if you like um, today's film I'm not film <laughs> this is how much I don't do YouTube and um, the reason why I'm doing this today is because I need to get into the habit of creating content every single week um, and I'm giving myself a challenge and the reason why I'm saying it to you guys is so you can hold me accountable so although I'm having issues with my computer, I really want to be consistent. I want to fight the odds. Oh, my legs. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I really want to beat the odds. I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to find excuses. That's just not something that I feel comfortable doing. So yeah, hold me accountable. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a video every week for the next I know when I say it out loud now I have to stick to it you know regardless of what it is even if it's a five minute video ten minute ten minute video um, I'm gonna give you guys a video every week for the next 12 weeks hold me accountable please um, if you're holding me accountable Drop it in the comment section. I'm holding you accountable, Mel, um, because I need that. Um, I'm gonna borrow a Mac where I can use Final Cut Pro. Um, whatever, whatever it takes, I am gonna be bringing you guys some content at least once a week for the next 12 weeks. All right, um, so that's today's workout. I am gonna be doing a few more things today, but um, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna take you guys with me or not but I think for now this being um, an intro video coming back I am gonna stop it here and I am just gonna give you guys some tips uh, for this heat because the weather is gonna be spiking going forward especially here in the UK um, so please as I said stay hydrated that's the first thing um, a lot of people aren't really aware as to the importance of water um, people think that it's just about thirst when it's really not that's almost like the last thing but that's just like um, a, sim a symptom of you being dehydrated uh, your bones are made up of water um, your muscles are like 75 percent water you know your brain water everything requires water you know to function properly digestion every single thing that you can think about in your body requires water so please don't neglect yourself um, when you when you start to see like the external evidence of <clears throat> dehydration that's when you're already um, neglected on the inside so like your internal processes and stuff like that are already impacted in a negative way so please guys please 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 stay hydrated um, sign of being dehydrated is like when your mouth gets really dry when you're talking and that's happening to me because I'm losing water as I sweat as well and I sweat a lot I sweat so quickly but hey that means that I'm super healthy and uh, cuz research says that healthy people sweat a lot 
I'm owning that, okay? Um, yeah, so other than that, stay hydrated. Um, please wear your sunblock. I know you can see that I'm wearing sunblock. Um, it's very important for the health of your skin, all right? Um, when you can, wear a hat. Invest in a little $10, 10 pound hat and keep your face protected because the skin on your face is much more sensitive than the rest of your body. Uh, do as much workout, as many workouts as you can on the inside. So if you can work out inside your house, please do that. Um, uh, if you can walk out in a shade like I'm under right now, please do that. Uh, avoid the sun between the hours of like 10 and 2. That's when it's at its hottest and you don't want to be caught out there, especially if you're going to be doing outdoor workouts. So if you can't do the indoor workouts, please do the outdoor workouts, but during some safer times. All right, that's about it for today's video and I hope you like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and hold me accountable for my videos at least once a week for the next 12 weeks, all right? This is... Ah, 12 week mission with Mel. <laughs> Must be fits 12 week consistency plan. All right, we've got this. I've got this. Uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I will see you guys soon.